What's up, YouTube? We're here with another skink video today, and man, this is an awesome one. This is something I've been waiting to show y'all for a while, and we had to confirm it first. So if you look behind me, this is the big terrarium. Just to give you a little backstory, we were cleaning out the terrarium, and then that's when we found that Lady Sif was pregnant. She's the female skink. So we stopped mid-process because we didn't want to disturb her nest and hurt the eggs. Then we waited a couple months, the babies were born, and we weren't sure exactly how many babies we had. We, we'd seen four, but we suspected there were more. So we're gonna go through and fix this terrarium up and give the baby skinks their own terrarium. If you look over there, there's a 20 gallon one. This one's a 55 gallon one. We're gonna put the babies in the 55 gallon one until they're big enough to be able to turn, be turned free because these are wild skinks. And we're gonna put uh, Lady Sif, the mama, and um, Thor, the, the, the papa skink, back in this big one after we redo it. So today's video, we're gonna show you the skinks and we're gonna show you the setup on the two terrariums. So let's start with the skinks. The one that I know y'all are dying to see, here are the seven babies. Look at these little tiny guys. You can tell they're bright, bright tails. And they, they, they lay on each other right now because they have no, I, I haven't put anything in here for them to hide on yet. So they're trying to hide on each other for kind of for protection. They're, these kind of skinks live on the forest floor and they're always hiding under debris and hiding under stuff. So right now, without that kind of object in there, they have nothing to hide on. So let's get, let's get them right around. And these guys are only now a couple weeks old and they're so cute. And remember these are five line skinks. They got the stripes on the back, the golden stripes, and they got the bright blue tails. The bright blue tails is of course the most distinguishing characteristic about a five line skink. So these are the seven, seven babies, and uh, when we finish working on this tank, there might even be more, so when we're gonna check it and see if there's any more. But in the meantime, this is the first five-line skink I got. This is Thor, and you can tell he's considerably bigger. They can get between five and uh, seven to eight inches long from the top of the nose to the tail, and he is totally full grown. So he's the daddy skink. And if you notice, there's a little bit of redness to his face. His face becomes really red when it's breeding season, and that's how you can I just easily tell the males from the females okay so that's Thor that's the dad and this is Lady Sif this is the mama skink and we haven't seen her very much at all in the last few months because she's been hiding protecting the eggs in the nest and so this is the mother skink and if you look at her she doesn't have the red on her face but otherwise her body looks pretty similar to Thor's she is a slight bit smaller than Thor but she's still a little heavier than Thor she's a little thicker so she's the mother skink and uh, she and Thor can live together no problem. Thor can live with the babies too until they get to a certain age. Then when they get too big, if they're males, he'll fight with them. So we're not going to put them together. We're going to keep those separated. So check him out. Check her out. And you've seen the babies. So now we're going to go ahead and work on the terrariums. And we'll come back and give you updates on that. Okay. So we're going to work on, just to give you the recap, the 55 gallon, which is this big one. We're going to set it up for the mama and the dad. And then the 20 gallon over there, we're gonna set up for the babies, okay? So we'll check, check back in in just a second. Okay guys, here we are with the finished terrarium. Check it out. This is the what we've created now for the two big skinks, the mama skink and the daddy skink, Thor and Sif. So what we've done is we've taken, we have down here on the bottom, we have a substrate mixed of the old soil that was in here before because that's local soil from outside in the yard mixed with some other reptile uh, substrates. And then we have fresh potting soil that's all organic on top here with no chemicals or anything that'll affect the skinks and then we've mixed in a lot of native uh, plant life moss and actual other plants in here to be able to give them an actual real naturalistic uh, terrarium environment and so you can look in there they got a big cave there to hide in they got some rocks and things to climb under uh, skinks need a lot of space to play in they get bored if they're in a small space and so this one gives them objects to climb on, climb under. And there's a big heating rock on this side. And if you notice, we have the heating lamp on this side. And on the other side, we have the UV light. This will be the hot side. That'll be the cold side. You always got to have that in uh, a terrarium for reptiles. And if you look, we've got a lot of buried, like this rock here is buried and stuff. The skinks like to tunnel underneath and create uh, tunnels underneath where they live. And they, they run and they hide when they feel scared. And so this the terrarium setup will give them a lot of uh, places to hide, feel comfortable, and just regular skink activity in there. Okay? Now if you look over here, we've created, we set up the little 20 gallon tank. And uh, what we've done with this one is, we've done similar things. This one was already set up pretty good, so all we had to do was refresh it. And if you'll notice, both tanks look damp because these skinks are, enjoy high humidity. They have to have a nice uh, moderate uh, humidity level, so we spray it all down to keep it moist. And we also gotta keep these plants alive. 
So, but you look in the back, there's a rotten piece of wood back there. There's a little cave here. There's a rock. There's some natural plants. There's a heating rock, lots of soil for them to dig in. So this is only a temporary home for the little baby skinks. As they grow, when they get to a certain size, we're going to turn them free in the yard. And we want them to be used to uh, being able to hide and live in this kind of soil. So when they go outside, it's an it's easy transition for them. Okay. And you'll notice we have a lot of debris in here. The little skinks and big skinks too, but the little ones, they'll hide under these leaves. They like to hide under uh, debris in the floor of the uh, forest. And so we simulated that here with those leaves. Okay. And just like with the big tank, you notice we have the heating lamp on one side and we have the UV lamp on the other side. That's to keep a warm side and a cool side for the little babies. Okay. And so 55 gallon terrarium for the big skinks, 20 gallon terrarium for the small skinks. And so now we're going to get the skinks and put them back in uh, these terrariums and let them see what their new homes are going to be like. So we'll show you that next. Okay, this is Sif. This is the mother skink. And I can handle these skinks. They're not venomous and they might bite, but the bites are small. But the thing is, their tails are super fragile and these skinks will eject their tails as a part of a, as a uh, defense mechanism to be able to escape. And I don't want them to lose their tails. This is the first tail she ever had and I want to keep it that way. So I'm not going to touch her and pick her up. I'm just going to turn the little tank here and put her in the terrarium. So we'll put it down here and we'll let her out and see where she goes and what she does. So slowly put her out. There we go. And there she is in the tank. So she's smelling all the natural earth smells and checking it out. So if I touch her, she'll panic. But we'll let her chill there for just a second. And if you see on the side, you can see her little heart beating and the way they breathe. Skinks do this all the time, whether they're relaxed or nervous. So you can see their heartbeat actually when they're just sitting around. It's a cool detail on the skink. So anyway, I will get her going now. Let her go take off and hide. Go, oh, pretty girl. Go, go find somewhere. Okay. So while she's there, we'll get Thor, the male skink, and we'll put him in there with her too. So here is Thor. We put a worm in there for him to eat, but he wasn't hungry. Not yet anyway. And so we're gonna put him in here too. And same thing, just like with her, I don't wanna touch him uh, and make him lose that tail. We'll just tip it over and let him go out. And there he goes. He's in his nice new home. And we put, you'll notice there's a lot of uh, tree bark back here, specifically pine tree bark, and there's rotting bark back here in the back. In this area, these skinks live around a lot of pine trees and they actually prefer pine trees. So we simulated that again to give them a naturalistic environment. Okay. And finally, the most exciting part, look in here. Here are the eight baby skinks. We told you earlier that we had seven. As we were doing the tank, we actually found another more. So there are eight more of these little tiny uh, suckers in here. And we're about to put them in their new home. So let's see if we can do this in a way where y'all can actually see them when I put them in. So here they are. And let's let them go in slowly so y'all can check them out. We'll pour them real gently. Let's see, come on little ones, let's go. There we go. They go look how blue those tails are that's gorgeous look and there's remember they sense their environment through their tongues so you'll see them licking they'll lick the leaves they'll lick the ground that's how they tell where they are and get information about their surroundings so let's go ahead and get them started take off little ones okay and that'll be their home until they get to a certain size where i feel comfortable turning them free outside and let them live in the wild
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this today. This was something really different. We've had so much fun with these uh, five line skink videos. We've done a lot of them and it's really shown the trip as we've gone through it. And I've enjoyed every second of it. And now we've got the parents back together. We got the babies over there. And uh, I just can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, keep it wild.